What is going on, everybody? This is uh, your boy, Raw Star, and you're listening to The Misfit Effect. As always, I'm sitting here next to uh, my co-host, CW. Hi. And we are joined here with uh, an amazing comedian and um, actress and podcaster herself, Emily Hagen. And we're also joined here by Star Child. Um, so give the little audience a little bit about yourselves before we go in. Uh, I think you just gave it all. I can go. I mean, it's more yeah. to to. Who I mean, you are. yeah. I don't really identify with any career path, but actress, I would probably eliminate out of that. I, I take breaks from acting like every six months. I mean, everybody. No does. one wants to say they. When act. are you not acting? That's true. No one believes any of mm-hmm. my feelings. But when are we not acting? That's true. Nothing's real. I mean, life. Is I like- feel high, <laughs> but where am I in a CrossFit gym? No. No. This is a. This no. Is, it's not a CrossFit gym at all. Where? What kind of gym is this? So oh, we got it's a personal training fit. Person oh, okay. Yeah, we got so we got I'm here. Real like, I wouldn't say anti CrossFit. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. Are you anti? I feel like you uh, are. I like the degree of work. I don't like the cult mentality Attitude. or the hey, like because you can train really well, you're the best athlete, or the the fact that just like I don't high like- rate of injury. Like <laughs> hey. You sever your spine. <laughs> we'll, we'll do you a thoughts and prayers. I don't like that you have to hang out with the people you work out with outside of working out. They have parties and stuff. You like bring bonbons and cheese plates, and then you pretend that you love each other because you're all so fucking motivated. I don't like that. See, I like real drill, gyms. From, from like running around the block. Yeah, it's yeah. like let's do squats and then go drink Pinot Grigio later. But we did squats, so it's fine. We did lots of burpees. <laughs> Although today I woke up and I, I was on a fitness model's post all morning. And that's a bad move to do in the morning because I was like, fuck, I'm not rising and grinding. I'm not rising and grinding. Rise and grind every Fuck, day. I wasn't Fit rising life. and grinding. Yeah. And I was like, I told this dude, I was like, I think we need to get up and like start going on runs. And he's like, have you been on like a fitness model's page? I'm like, yeah, like all morning. It's not a good way to work out or to wake up. But then here I am in a, in leggings and sneakers, underdressed, thinking, shit, I should have worn jeans. But then I walked in, and there's treadmills everywhere, pull-up bars. Yeah. I, and, I, and then he pull, and then Starchild pulled up, and I was thinking, God, could you have, I was thinking my negative thoughts about you, thinking, Once again. couldn't you have worn jeans? Did you have to wear sweats? Like, we're going to do this podcast with Ross Star today. But you remember, I am psychic. I know what Clearly, we didn't even realize what we were getting ourselves into. Yeah, but I told you, is that a fitness? I didn't read the message. <laughs> I, can, I can tell. Attention like, to detail. She just, she just, she just said, okay, I'll do the podcast. Star Child wants to come. Okay, you know, I learned something about Twitch. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll handle that, yeah. That's what we're going to do. I must have missed the part where we were in a gym, but now I'm, I'm feeling great that I'm in sneakers. And then I knew this is like racist or something, but like, I knew that you were black, so I was like, I'll wear cool sneakers. You give them the address, don't you? You don't give them the address. No, I said, I, I, can, I can show you my exact message I sent to her. It says it, isn't it? It's in a gym. Come podcast with us in a gym in North Hollywood. That's exactly what it says, almost. Bring, bring a water bottle. Bring a water bottle. Water <laughs> bottles are provided, though. Yeah, like we usually. Oh, they're all gone. See, my envision that as I was going to get here today, and like you're going to be in like a suit. I don't know, and like we were going to be in this weird office space. What? I was going to walk in and have to like sit up straight. And I'm happy it's not that. It's what I started, though. Like, you already knew who it was. What do you mean? Who, okay, Thanks easy for the peanut gosh. gallery. Sorry that I have an imagination. I mean, like. Rust or, like, do you own a I, suit? Like, I like to wear I like to wear suits. I don't mind it, but I really try to avoid it at all don't costs. Like double breasted suit. <laughs> don't judge me. I mean, maybe this guy off camera that joking. this guy off <laughs> this guy off camera that doesn't like me. Maybe he has a point. Maybe there is something wrong with me because judging by your thumbnail of the podcast, the misfits, and you're hiding behind bars, I should have known this wasn't a corporate podcast. No. So where the fuck was the misfits? Where the fuck was? <laughs> think it's gonna be like an office like yeah i don't know maybe because it was in north hollywood i always assume it's like offices over in north hollywood yeah but I, I, I said the <laughs> where do you stay i don't know i'm oh, i'm in between places right now oh, oh. so you're homeless no i t- <laughs> <laughs> i'm in between two places 
No, I'm trying to get evicted, right? I'm trying to get evicted, so my boyfriend lets me move in with him. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's a ploy. That's, but does he bring you soup? Oh. I haven't been sick in a while. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, you were the Oh, you soup girl. Oh, man. Why am I soup girl? Yeah, yeah I am. Right? I've been soup girl for like two months. Oh, you made it a thing. No, I was, I was at his house. Uh, and, and like uh, I, that's when I first heard it, and I'm like, "What a saga!" I'm like CW, listen to this. <laughs> and I, I had to check it was it was plain to me. So everyone that doesn't, all the listeners that don't know Soup Girl, Soup Girl story. I um, <laughs> I went on a date with this guy, and he started calling me a lot after the date. So I assumed, well, I think we're in a relationship, and he called me that morning when I was sick. And then he was starting to text me, and I go, shouldn't you be bringing me soup? And he wrote, ha ha, yeah, matzo ball from Jerry's Deli. And I was like, mm, yeah, delicious. So I'm sitting there waiting, and three hours go by, and the soup never came. So I started creating Instagram stories about it, like, is the soup coming? Is it not coming? And then I asked all my guy friends, what would you do if you knew a girl for two days, and she asked you to bring you soup? And Starchild said... I said, I'll come through. That's an opportunity. You said you would have brought a whole kit. Oh, yeah. Health kit. Whatever she need. Emergency. You said you would have brought Theraflu. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, I finally, hours later, he saw the post. He started laughing. And I go, well, why didn't you come with the soup? And he was like, I was too busy getting my Rolex fixed. <laughs> have you seen everybody's face and didn't already know that? They looked up like... Everybody really? gave you a look. He, <laughs> like, really? he literally flexed his Rolex, so he couldn't bring me soup because he was too busy getting his Rolex fixed in Beverly Hills. I'm doing the masturbation sign with my hands. <laughs> me too. Because my mind. So for some reason, this post, like, it got so many views and comments. It was my most lit post on Instagram this year. It was getting, like, 300 comments. Lit. This lady. Everybody wanted to talk about this, like this guy, like, and why it was. So many people agreed with me, though, which was crazy. Well, because you had you had like a whole interview desk. You had people talking to the phone, like I would never bring a girl soup. That's like against the game of law of love this. And then other guys like me be like, hell, I'm bringing soup. I'm other bringing gr- and the girls were like, fuck LA. That's the problem with LA. No guy is a caregiver. No one's a provider. This trigger every girl that took my side. Not one girl didn't yeah, take my right. side. See, the way the way I seen it was, I think I said this, this to you too. Like, if I'm trying to get in, like. I, I, you bring the soup because that's your whole motivation. And you like, oh, I don't want to mess with this girl. She's sick. Huh, okay, mm-hmm. die. So let you me were, and Rasta was part of this experience because you had DM me, and I think you were the person I was having the most conversations with that day because you were very invested in this experience. Rasta was like, get, he was getting the play by play DMs behind the <laughs> scenes. Like he was all up. At, he knew exactly what was going on. Mm-hmm. So, I was thinking we were. I was at his house, and you're like, I remember. It's like nine eleven. You're like, I remember the day that I saw the soup saga. Daredevil, and he was so far down. Like I hadn't watched that many episodes, so I was half paying attention to it. Was I watching Daredevil, or when did this happen? Were you sure it wasn't Defenders? <laughs> it was one. I think it's a moot point. Because, Same difference. Well, I'm just trying to see the the time, time era. Oh, yeah, this? like. Three weeks, probably a month, a month and a half. It was ago. Daredevil. It was Daredevil because Defenders was yeah, last so, year. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, it was Daredevil. I yeah, feel like the Soup Saga was so long ago. <laughs> so do <laughs> I. Things happen. Yeah. What did I say? I said maybe. It depends. It depends. It obviously, like drew, drew conversation. The might get it for me. Might bother me. I might be like, wait, wait, shouldn't I be? I don't know you. A lot of people though were like writing like. Bitch, you're a gold digger. And I'm, so then I, I was, so then I was like, then I was like, what am I? I'm like, I'm a soup digger. I'm not asking for gold. I'm asking for a two dollar Campbell's soup. That roll through. Show me that you care. It had nothing to do with the mo- the monetary value of the soup. It had to do with the gesture. Yeah, because like absolutely. I think I think, I think I, I think I sour soup is like three fifty. That's yeah. I think I said to her uh, the way that he said it. This is after the whole. This is behind the scenes. I said the way that he said it. Gave you the impression that he was about to bring it. Wait, wait. I, 
I want to know why he was so highly specific about the kind of soup. The matzo was, ball. Yeah, the matzo ball. Right, soup. exactly. Why did he suggest an amazing and soup a and a, do- a, a deli? And that's an upper deli. echelon soup. That's a, you got ramen noodles. Oh, you got time. matzo ball. He matzo ball is like seven He flexed the soup choices and his Rolex. Like, yeah, he was like, I'm a baller, baby. Stop asking me for things. <laughs> Turns out his dad's successful, and it's his grandpa's Rolex that oh, was so a hand-me-down. Funny. Fugazi. So, so, so basically, all he can afford is chicken noodle soup. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't pay for it. It was a real Rolex. But it's like saying, like, oh, I can't, sorry, baby, I can't come bring you the soup right now. But guess what, guys? There's this thing called Uber Eats. There's like deliver. There's Postmates and shit. Oh, he there was it's 2018 if he cared and guess so guess what he's been blocked but it's not because of the soup i gave him a chance i gave him one more chance that night that night i am gonna give me one more chance you know soup but yeah she's like one more chance would you say i'm empathetic to the pathetic yeah oh wow that's a good saying that's a good one. He said to me recently, he had a brand deal. So he's like an Instagram model. And he had a brand deal with a skincare line that is my absolute favorite skincare line. And it's the only thing that works on this disgusting face. And I was like, listen, can you give me that email address? I'm like, can you hook me up with that email? I want to email the influencer department. <laughs> and he says to me, I won't give you the email unless you show me how to do Twitch. And I'm like, Okay, I'll show you how to do Twitch. And he's like, okay, well, once you show me how to do Twitch, then maybe I'll give you the email. And I was like, it's a fucking contact info. You're giving me like an info at da 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 collaborations. Like, you're not doing much but giving me an email. So I ended up telling him he's a piece of shit and I blocked him. I just couldn't believe how ungiving he was. He wouldn't give me the soup and he wouldn't give me an email. Oh, very I cheap can, I can, I can, I can, I can, like, hey, nothing for free, baby, nothing for free. I can, see, I can see if he would give you, like, a direct. Wait, did you go on a date? Two dates. Oh, yo. I met him at my comedy show. I roasted his ass, which is hilarious. You know how I met this guy? Yeah, you just was telling me about a bitch talking about another, talking about Eddie, right? <laughs> you know what, you know what, you know what's funny? Like, Should we like, mic him? Before, before, before I, before I, before I before before I go back over there, I love the fact that our last three podcasts, he's just been sitting to the side like our little audience. So we have a little audience in our podcast that we can't really hear. So it's like it's like a uh, like a heckler in the background. He is a heckler. <laughs> he's already said what the fuck's wrong with me. Oh uh, well, okay. So we were out for what was that? My birthday? It was some of some night. We were out at um, Academy. If anybody goes to EDM clubs, I guess. Like me, only me. All right, so uh, we were, and this girl kept like really digging into my friend Eddie. She was like, "Oh, look at you and your shirt. You think you look cool and blah blah." blah. And the guy behind me was like, "Oh, one of our friends was like, oh, he better stop talking to her. She's like totally distant." And I was like, "No, she's way into it. Oh my god, she's for sure, all the attention right. and like." She's if a girl's so paying attention to you, she's in it. That's like the key. It doesn't matter what the hell's coming out of her mouth. Like, Why you got busted shoes? Oh my god, she's obsessed with them. Because if you could make her upset, you could make it happen. The only time I'm into a guy is if I'm roasting them. You know I'm into them if I'm giving them, like, like, oh, what's, oh, look at that hat. Oh, what are you wearing that for? Eh." (laughs) If I have a girl getting mad or about some other dude, I'm like, oh no, it's a wrap. Yeah, if a girl gives a guy attention, they're in it. They're in it. I want all your anger. No, Star Child, the way he talks is just so smooth. (laughs) 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 He just talks so smooth. Like, I know. So, so, so it's wait, over. Cha- oh, yeah. I let him know. I said, "Listen, dude." I ended up, you know, I sometimes like to do below. That my weakness is like, or my flaws. I like below the belt comments. If someone pisses me off, if I if they get to my breaking point, I'll say some fucked up shit. So I'm after he refused to give me the soup. He also offered me a photo shoot. He was like, "Oh, I want to take photos with you." So he had me cancel. I had a f- photo shoot lined up with a really. A prestigious photographer and he somehow convinced me that it, I shouldn't do it and that he'd take better photos so I my dumb brain canceled the photo shoot because I'm a very indecisive person so I was already on the fence about it so I canceled the photo shoot this guy never took photos of me I never got the soup we went to coffee I paid for my own coffee then he didn't give me the email address 
So finally I said to him, listen, and he, then he goes, will you help me set up Twitch? I'll do the photos and give you the email if you help me set up Twitch. And I go, look, just because you have a famous dad doesn't mean that everyone in LA is trying to use you. Get it together. And he was like, that's the most hurtful thing anyone's ever said to me. I'm like, not really. It's Wait, just honest. hurtful at all? Because he, I don't, he said, don't talk that's about my dad. But it's the truth. He's he, be the below the belt thing. He's a very. It's not even that below the belt. But to him, belt. to him, it. You said people. Well, are that's the other thing. That's a good question. Okay, so that's this is where it gets <laughs> interesting good because the, the first night I did make out with him, and he, the, he while we we're making out, and he forced the make out. He whispered into my ear, "Do you like anal?" With and that's like I was saying on the. I don't know if you were on the live stream. That's Why like every episode. And then Every he episode. and then he asked me to send him a Anna photo of my butthole. Every episode. And then oh, wait, tell him what the pictures he t- sent you. So then he goes. Um, so during so during our like two week ro- two week non romance, uh, I go. All right, I just have a question. Are you gay? And he goes, well, you know, like, if Harry Styles, like, wanted to make out, like, I'd probably, like, if it was, and I'm like, this should be an easy yes or no question, and it wasn't. Well, he's like, um, I don't uh, know. Hypothetically, you know, I have a man uh, crush. You know. And then I we went, know. the day that we went to coffee, the entire yeah. coffee, all he did was Google images of Harry Styles and asked me if he should wear his hair in those interesting ways. He's like, do you like Harry like this? Do does you like Harry like, like that? Harry he thinks he does. Oh, he thinks he does. So maybe he's not really like gay. Well, well, no. He's gay for himself. He, yeah, he's he, real vain. He's, he's so vain. vain. But of course, <laughs> at the same time, even if I like myself, I'm not trying to suck myself to death. I have a question. <laughs> uh, have Addy over here, yeah, anything. I'm not trying Danny. to do it myself. But if it's another me, a clone me, I'm not going to be like, hey, you hot. You have to talk into the microphone. Yeah, Gross. Okay, my question is, why did Eddie scream he's gay before he even knew? Like, what was the clue for Eddie that you <laughs> thought he was gay? Danny. Danny I thought your name was Eddie. No, Eddie is our other friend. So who's this? That's Danny. Okay, why did, why did Danny, Danny think he was gay? Danny, come over here and sit down and talk. Okay, so off like, camera we have this man named Danny who has nice Danny, teeth who has, and dreadlocks. Who has been on like probably three of our podcasts already. And, and before no. Danny just randomly started yelling, he's gay. And I'm wondering what, what was the indicator? Because all we m- m- talked about was like the skincare. And maybe so, that's the no, indicator. No, you can no, have good you skin. You started talking about the little booty hole situation. So. Hey, no, you said it before wait, that. You said, oh, you said is he, he gay thinks, before that? People say like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's said, why I was like, whoa. And then she said, yes. Hey. He was displaying characteristics of a gay person. We don't even know. A really? closeted gay person because oh. I've been around a lot of gay people and I have a lot of gay friends that wasn't like classified as gay before. But then oh, everybody like, okay. nigga, you gay. Just say you gay. Oh yeah, yeah, you got but a lot of friends. The way they oh, act yeah, is like the way they <laughs> the way they act I mean, is like like they not gay. Like so I'm like, okay, I can spot that shit. What were the characteristics he was displaying? Everything you was describing when you was talking about this motherfucker, it's like enough from the. And then the 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 bundle situation little, made it worse. It's, 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 it's that was yeah. Super it's actually, red flag. And then he go. I mean, okay. I, and I can't even necessarily say be that honest. because there's some dudes that do anal, but the way that motherfucker was just, like Did he didn't want a photo of my Ooh, boobs. Sex? No. <laughs> so he asked about so anal before y'all had sex. We were ma- we never had sex. Know? We made That's out. See, nah, straight dudes don't really be like, hey. Come on, you now. like anal you be before already. y'all have se- you be regular sex? Already and then yeah, shit like yeah, that. or maybe doing somebody. No, we were making out, out, and he whispers, "Do you like anal?" You know, you know what? Like, 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 he's just like, "Oh, I'm trying to go straight to the A." You know what? The weird part yeah, of the, not the much. good A. You know the the weird part about this is like this is our like I think our ninth episode, and I think yeah, every episode, and I think seven of the nine. Anal. That 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 word anal comes up like somewhere in it. And we don't bring it up. Are you guess. serious? Yes. Yeah, we never bring it up with somebody. Why do you guys have like? I wonder why. Most of half our guests are in porn. No, we only had three. Three. Okay. So a third. Well, eating ass is like a cultural phenomenon right now. Everyone, it's it's, no, it's trending. Crazy. It's that's trending. Crazy. It's trending. I, 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 I mean, people I don't, are okay with it. All the young kids hey, want to do it. Who knows 30s. if they're doing it? People been eating ass since I was in high school. Come on, I was about to say they did that. Since did the, thing. now, it's people just, are like, yeah, just yeah. Now. I, I do that because okay. Because somebody yeah, I, 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 won't, I won't touch your booty. <laughs> your booty hole. Yeah, hey, you got me fucked up. I ain't sticking my. But no, that's that just bitch. yeah. That was that was very weird. That was weird of him. 
And then the whole like <laughs> holding things hostage for like the thing. Okay, okay. If you straight, if you a straight dude and a girl's like, ah, I wish I had some soup. I'm kind of sick. And you're like, okay, let me go ahead and get this girl some, some of this soup. I'm, I'm about to get that there that soup. soup. A, that that's, that's the whole. That was saying. the whole point. If she's not too man. sick. But if she's sick, oh, you know, she she put it on the you rain know, check. She might be know. like, she be like, oh, oh, he brought me hey, that but soup. That I'm gonna call cure, as soon as I get better. That can cure a cold, though. So oh. that soup, be well, I'm, I'm at the age. I'm not. And that was kind of my point. I was like, okay, he's gonna if he if he comes through with this soup, I wasn't really that sick. We're we're fucking. Oh, she wanted. See? To fuck he didn't want to. He didn't even realize. Oh, that's a red flag right there. You, you gotta know. Like, a sick, hey, wait, how old is he? Twenty nine. Um, it don't fucking matter. He's old enough to know. No, it do. It do. Mm, Why? 25. Younger than 25, you'd be like, no, fuck, I'm not bringing you no soup. Shit, I'll bring that guy it's like one, It's like a thing when you're younger. I used to be married. Uh, when Congrats. You're younger and you're like, oh, if you're like girlfriend or your wife's like, hey, let's take a nap. And it's like the middle of the day and you'd be like, no, I'm fucking up. I don't. No but you know what that nap means. But you know what that nap means. You know what's funny? When I came to California, I found out what the fuck that meant. The nap? In Detroit, they don't do that shit. They like, nigga, I want to fuck. What's up? And that's it. Oh, no, let's take a nap. But here, the first girl I fucked with here was like, like, come in here, lay down with me real quick. I was like, okay, I mean, it's, the sun is still out and everything, but I was like, fuck Oh, yeah, in California, we were, we were, you got to get used to fucking in the day. So I'm like, okay. We went in there and laid down in there, and things just like. Escalated so fast, and I was like, "What happened to that?" I was like, "What happened to the nap?" Lay down. I was kind of sleepy. Before I knew, we was in there till it was dark outside. Because girls, <laughs> girls have to be indirect. You know what I mean? It's always like you want to cuddle, you want to, you know what I mean? You want to chill. Like, oh yeah, okay, I know what that means. Like, I'm over. And I'm like, I need soup. Well, girls can um, never do that. Well, I mean, like, there's, there's some. I used to mess with this old lady. <laughs> and she used to be like How old? Oh. I mean, not old lady Older than me And uh, Did she have gray in She'd her be head? like, what you doing? And I'd be like, I could really use some cookies And yeah You got the nookie cookies. for some cookies? Oh, it was cookies, she'd bring me a 12 pack of those McDonald's cookies And it'd be on and popping What? Yeah, I was oh, a food she- whore I don't know McDonald's had cookies Oh, they, Are you, do they anymore? This was yes, years do. ago Years ago Years ago, McDonald's had cookies. Years ago, was fucking this old woman. McDonald's. Mm. Yeah, I don't eat McDonald's. So yeah, prison That's industrial funny that you complex. Talk about that though, I, I had seen this fine. Uh, yeah, I think she was like yelling yeah, toward the microphone. She was like so. a seventy-year-old lady. I wasn't fine, meant to be on the mic. Seventy. Yeah, she You're Irish. Seventy. She Irish. Jesus. I'm Irish and my skin looks old. Well, she might be sixty something. I mean, but either I mean, way like, it goes, she said, older. So you're like she was you, fine and old. Did you what? Say you went to some seventy year old Irish woman? Did he, that does what, not wait, sound did you like say? a seventy year old Irish did, woman. Did you just have sex did, with did you just say you had no? Sex? I didn't no, say I had. So what is? Y'all get your man. Get your man. Get your man. You guys got to share this mic better. This audio is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be horrible again. I told Rostar, you got to make sure your people are mic'd. I couldn't hear him sometimes. Boom. Well, because he had the microphone way down on the table. Well, hey, we got fucking stands, man. I thought they worked. I thought these mics were better. I was about to say, shouldn't you pick that up? Yeah. No. Anyway, it didn't. So I'm, I'm always well, like, hey. I feel like a teacher now. What you doing? Laying down the law. All right. So. Look, I got you see, the best, you see, I got you see, you see, right you see, you see, you see, you see, uh, you see how we talk about each other. He's, so he's, wait, he's lucky know, I'm a Christian. Who are we talking sh- about? We don't know shit about Star Child. Let's besides get- him not being like Paul Stanley. Oh. Oh, did, were you the one who said that? Yeah. In, the, in the Twitch? Did I say that in Twitch? No, I didn't. Someone else said that about him Somebody on else, that they expected like me to come out with like a wig and a star on my face and black leather. Be a good look. Huh? Yeah, but, That'd be a good look. For Halloween. Yeah. So, who are you? What? What, what <laughs> makes? What makes? What makes Star Child? Star yeah. Child. I'm Emily Spirit God. I'm here to like protect her from like the evil people that don't that go fix the imaginary Rolexes. And you know what's hilarious? So Super Rolex met Star Child via a live stream app. And you know what he said to him? I said, uh, "When are you gonna stop pretending to know Emily?" And he was like. <laughs> 
You that said I'm frazzled. You said how how long have you pretended to know my my friend Emily? And he like had nothing to say. Yeah. Uh, you gotta hit him upside the head sometime. He, anytime I have a guy, they go through like the star child screening process. You, you gotta filter the toxins. There's a lot of toxins in this <laughs> in LA water. He's not a he's not a cock block. He's just like uh, I guess a screening. Your yeah. screening process. Filter process. Because I can't make decisions on my own. I need help. <laughs> I don't meditate enough to f- know my ba- so my like, center. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You're like, Star Trek, what? what do you think about so what you I'm said? self-aware. Then, I'm getting better, okay, though. I get it. I get it. So, like, Star Child is kind of like your Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, like, I don't even... <laughs> like, I, I mess with her sometimes. We'll get high. Well, I'll smoke, and it'll be around, so she'll get secondhand, and I'll be like, you know... You don't even know if I exist. And then walk away. Wow. <laughs> and she'll be like... Uh, you always say that I'm Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, you Alice in Wonderland. I'm the Cheshire Cat. Or the <laughs> Caterpillar. Just blowing it. Who are you? What y'all be smoking? <laughs> <laughs> that Star Child Kush. <laughs> yeah, we met like five so, days ago. Star Child just told us a bunch, but didn't really tell us. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm uh, Emily's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Spiritual again. advisor, yeah. Well, he's also, That's how she introduces me. Remember at the comedy store? I think I've also called you a fortune cookie. Yeah, that too. That so he's on my podcast every week as a um, like a fortune cookie. So I'll go and live like a weird experience, like the soup saga, and then Star Child will come in mid episode and give his opinion in like three fortune cookie like sentences, and then he's out. That's it. Oh, okay. That's neat. Oh, and by the way, everybody, uh, Emily does do a podcast. If you look it up on, it's on everything, it's called yeah. Emily Knows Everything. It's been on hiatus for like eight months while I'm getting it officially set up to be visually. It's going to be a visual podcast, so it's going to launch in January, season two. But I do have a lot of good episodes, season one. Yeah, we, we used to be- Like what? Um, I interviewed like the man who fucked the dolphin. Oh yeah, what the fuck? That was the that was the, the season finale. That was my season finale. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, wait. Yeah, wait. Yeah, a forty-five minute yeah, interview yeah. with wait. a man that had a relationship with a dolphin. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> you got up. you got to be. How don't you not like bestiality wait, laws weren't a thing in the seventies? Seventies. Oh. I'm just wondering because it's like where's the thing consent? Isn't it's the man who raped the dolphin more? He, if you listen to the or podcast, the dolphin, he believes they were truly in a relationship. Oh, but there was jealousy, they quantum entanglement, cuddling, affection after fucking so wait, cuddles. What, what happened F- to dolphin. Hear it first that Emily dolphin. knows everything. What happened to the dolphin? It ended up dying, and his theory is that it died of depression from their Fuck breakup. After their breakup, he thinks he probably they, fucked the shit out of that dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like. <laughs> He fucked my guts up. <laughs> he was like, well, we got to go all the way. The craziest thing about <laughs> it. <laughs> the craziest thing about it is like, well, I had just gotten out of a relationship when I interviewed this man and I was so in tune. Is there music? Oh, that's the person outside. Uh, that was something. really loud. Oh, the They're fortifying the defenses for the dispensary, dispensary across the street. That's how they were starting to get to Did we build a dispensary across the street? No, there's a dispensary across the street already. Oh, wow. I, okay, hey, I mean, hey, wow. Savage Lounge is great. It's great. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. What no, that. it's weird. Actually, being a, like, I'm, I mean, I think I'm a pretty open-minded guy, but I'm like, oh, dispensary's moving. I'm probably the most. across from my business? I want some good deals. Y'all do need to go to Savage. Oh, they do have good deals? I just don't want to go. I just don't. they got. I think two for three dollar edibles. Two for three dollars. Yeah, they got a lot of. Look, no, no, no. We're not or getting paid for. It probably taste gross. We're not getting or paid for commercials. They are rice krispie treats. And they rice have different oh, colors. Gross. And stuff. You're not. We're not getting paid for commercials. And they like fifteen. You gotta get them on track. Yeah. Fuck them. I go around the corner. <laughs> Fuck them. Anyway, back to, back to this uh, back to this dolphin lover. So you guys are just gonna have to listen to the episode to find out. Okay. It's yeah, interesting. It if you want yeah, to. So, if you want to. It, what else? You know what? You think dolphins, dolphins have STDs? Because that's the thing. They're cl- that's, that's the thing. Weird. I recently learned out. Could you give a dolphin an STD? Mm. Flipper. I don't know. Whoa. Could learned you give dolphin chlamydia? That syphilis originally comes from people 
fucking sheep. What? Dun 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 dun. I mean, that the man, the man was up here fucking Willie. So free Willie, free Willie. Hold me like the River Jordan. Yes, and I would let him. You were my friend. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I used to. I love that song. It's actually my phone. Do 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 do. I don't know. So it's going to be more visual. So it's like. Uh, about season two. Season two. We're debating like if we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna put it. We're gonna. Three, we're gonna no, put it on Twitch. About season two. Comedy Central show. Okay. Season three. That'd be, be dope. One. Yeah, I was. Th- Sounds like a nice concept. Yeah, it is. I'm just a perfectionist, and I've been on a six month hiatus. Well, I've been streaming. I, I transitioned. And I've been focusing on live streaming, so I've been doing that for six months. See, uh, you play games too? No, I just do like just chatting. Just mental games. Oh, where? wait. Do I play mental like, games? I don't think I'm that. Men- I'm not. You 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 mean she, like? She plays real life video chatterbait. No, no, just <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> she just she just chat. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, <laughs> and like most 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 um. Hey, welcome. Listen to my jokes. Most most like a lot of people do it, do that also. They just uh talk on the podcast, talk on the uh on the Twitch. And not not um, play any because I, oh, I you can do that yeah it's called, let's set that up tomorrow it's you called know. just chatting yeah I I've said that to you before so wait, where, they also have a Twitch? podcasting tab yeah. I just started Twitch a month ago I was on a different streaming app for three months four months and I just left that app and I'm going to start doing Twitch how's Twitch working out for you so far I've literally only done it for five streams oh. yeah and um he just what he just said I was going to start that eventually. You guys can talk about your business plans off podcast. I'm trying to make some money, man. I'm trying to be a fucking slumlord of Indiana. Rise and grind. That's right. Slumlord of Indiana and you're in California. Hey, that's where you that's where the best that's the best slumlords that live somewhere else that you're like, I fucking hate them. <laughs> they can't do it. And it's like Tony is the fucking manager and he doesn't do shit. He don't even come here. Yeah, he don't even come here and cut the fucking grass. I've never had a landlord that wasn't a slumlord. Well, I guess I'll still be just a decent landlord then. Oh, shit. So, uh, yeah, you lost my train of thought. So, uh, with your whole visual thing, um, how are you going to set it up? It's a, I don't know. Let's not talk about it. I've got like an Excel document, and there's a lot of ideas, and I need to get it figured out. But, you know, me and decisions. I mean... That's what the world is here. Like, oh, but yeah, just make sure you go ahead and check our uh, podcast out. Yeah, you guys can go check it out. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, <laughs> Google Play Music. You can look at the first 12 episodes. And yeah. then we're going to have a really dope uh, podcast coming in January. Once we get rid of, I'm just so over this December. I'm so over Jan- I hate December. I don't like the holidays. I'm not looking forward to Christmas. I don't care about New Year's. Bah humbug. I only I only care about the day wow. the day two days the, the day two after new two days after New Year's. After that, I don't care. Yeah, she like me. I don't give a fuck about holidays. Me neither. I don't celebrate Christmas personally. Do you celebrate Kwanzaa because you're black? <laughs> oh <laughs> no, I don't celebrate. I'm kidding. No, it's obviously Hanukkah. Hanukkah. It does celebrate. You're probably. I don't celebrate Kwanzaa. You seem like a rich Jew. I don't know. I don't celebrate Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or Christmas. Who celebrates Kwanzaa, though? Where is Kwanzaa actually oh, from? Kwanzaa. Oh, George is the person to ask. George, you, you don't celebrate Kwanzaa. Just like all holidays. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say this. Okay. It's just the newest made up. Okay. This is, my, this is my take on Kwanzaa. So it doesn't make sense to me because there's a whole bunch of BS. Because, like, let's say the man who's, standing, who's, who's across from me right now. Now, I'm about to go on a rant. Like, uh, check this out. So... This man who got arrested for kidnapping and beating someone up and doing all these type of drugs came out and said, you know what? I'm going to create a holiday. I'm going to make it special. And uh, what do you, what do you, yeah, yeah. No, let me, let me, no, let me finish. You need to let Let him finish finish. because you're not mic'd and this is going to be annoying for the listeners. Let me, let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And then, and then this man said, okay, I'm going to take an Akan Tweet name from Ghana, Africa. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go way to Tanzania and get some, uh, Swahili terms and use that to make this holiday and confuse everybody out here because it doesn't make sense. And and then and then and then I'm gonna say 
yes, this is this is this is the black thing, the black thing. But then you look back in, back into his history, it's a whole bunch of kidnapping, a whole bunch of nonsense. This man who created everything does. But we're going to go ahead and follow this man. Who's this we, man? Uh, Kareem A or something. Whatever his name is. I think of his name right now. But fuck him. So wow. yeah, I'm see this. You're really passionate about this. I'm story. passionate because, like, I, I, I really see. I'm glad I made a really stereotypical black Kwanzaa joke now because look really at how George like is. Education. So I'm saying like, my government hey. name. All oh, y'all. Oh, before I I go. We're learning about hey. geography. Hey. Celebrate Kwanzaa. I was like, mm, let me tell you about Kwanzaa. How it sucks. But I'm a history hey. mate. You know, Rostar, I, him being a, a kidnapper and all the criminal. Does that really bar? Yes, it does. From actually being someone that's like creates a holiday. I have a question I for mean, you. See that? Oh, wait, wait. This is who I'm talking. To. Forgot, forgot who I'm talking to. <laughs> um, Rostar. Well, no one likes a holiday associated with genocide so no one any well i mean i like i like good food when i don't celebrate thanksgiving nice, but yeah what else don't you celebrate i don't celebrate anything with birthdays yeah he doesn't really eat anything with and birthdays. you're not like and you're not wait, really are you supposed to be wait were you a jehovah's witness now no i i, I, I know there's only two hundred thousand or so to get up in there start child what do you think about holidays i think it's a corporate thing I think, See, I, do, it, I, do, I think it's I do. a money grab. I think it's I, like to give people a break so they keep going to work and stuff like that. See, I do, I do like like event things. Like I do Mother's Day and shit like that, but I don't really consider that like <sighs> holiday. That's not like a holiday where you like party. That's just like you show your mom some appreciation for the day. Yeah, so, You're not. Yeah. It's not an excuse to get drunk. That's what most holidays are. An excuse to get drunk. Cinco de Mayo, St. Patrick's Day. Thanks, the night before Thanksgiving, really Christmas like people drink. I think they need to spread Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's like, why one month after each other? Um, That's ridiculous. Well, Abraham Lincoln put, uh, nerd, uh, Abraham Lincoln put Thanksgiving in November, so uh, they could, what? No, I'm not. Oh, you're pointing. I'm just pointing. Oh, he put, he put Thanksgiving in um, November so they can make more money for the Christmas holiday so they can raise money. So Abraham Lincoln started that because before Abraham Lincoln, uh, during Reconstruction, it was every president used to uh, pick the date that Thanksgiving was on. Oh, wow. also, thank you for that gem Rostar of information, Rostar. Look into the history of Thanksgiving before like 1930. It was a lot more like Halloween until they had Halloween right. because people yeah. dressed and like then, pilgrims. And then, yeah, people, used to, no, and then people used to dress up in masks and fuck shit up. And then Christmas used to be on um, October 31st because. They consider that you're not supposed to celebrate it because that was, you know, you're not supposed to celebrate uh, the birth. You're only supposed to celebrate the death. Oh. So, nerd, I'm sorry. That's my That's opinion. good info. Though. I watch We're learning stuff. Mm-hmm. Those Edutainment. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. You, using my degree for something. Um, well, I'm not. <laughs> we can tell. Hey, I own a gym. I don't have any tattoos. We don't have tattoos. What? what? Uh, <laughs> What a transition. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, a t- tattoo artist. Do you think any president has tattoos? Um, uh, Does Barack have well, a tramp stamp? Wait. <laughs> you mean like presidents, like, because, like, are we talking United presidents is, and vice presidents? Just presidents. Oh, okay, no. Mm, I was with, maybe. They probably got some Mike Pence tattoos probably has, like, a, a giant swastika on his chest. <laughs> or, or. <laughs> God, it's like he owns all the businesses and then he takes off his shirt and, and he's like, like ripped. from the neck down. Yeah, from, from, it's like from, American from, history from, X. Devil dog. Pants. From, from Gothica. <laughs> yeah. My pants. Or he has a picture. Or he has a picture of his. Or, or a tattoo of his mama. Yeah, or he's just like, yeah, he's just like the lightning bolts, just everything. Wow. Uh-huh. With, the, with the helmets on. See, everything. I feel like George Bush would have, George W. Bush would have had like a dumb tribal tat on his arm. Oh, I feel oh, like he yeah, would have made a sure. bad like mistake in his early 20s. Or like, yeah, like a maybe or a trim. Like that super military, like tribal tat. Like that shit the rock has? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Try. But the rock can do no wrong. He has one. Show them your <laughs> what? I'm not sure. I know white people have these tribal tattoos. It's like you live in a small town. You go to like the same deli every day. Not even a deli. You just go to like a mom pa store, and then you go in your truck home. You're not in a tribe. You're not fighting anybody. Excuse me. I am ninety eight percent Irish and two percent 
Cree Indian. He's embracing all I of went that. To power. I just think all the <laughs> guys. Two months ago. All the guys that I know that have tribal tattoos just like chill and watch TV. Hell yeah. So? They're not in a. They're not in a tribe. They're not in a tribe. TV tribe. It's okay. I I don't I don't um I'm not shaming people with tattoos. Oh, no. What I, love, I, I mean, love, maybe tattoos is like what people aspire and want to be, so they get the tribal tattoo because that's what they, are, oh, they that's what they want to be. You, oh, you don't want a tattoo? Problem. So you're saying, so like, white guys get tribal tattoos because they don't feel like they don't belong anywhere. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I literally... I have four tattoos. The coffee's there. kicking in. You got like something with like a honey on it or something, ain't it? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. White we guys have also have like the pentagons and like different shapes always, like geometric shapes on their wrist that has like some deep meaning about the universe. That's Wait, like the two huh? types of white, white guy dudes? tattoos. What kind of, what kind of white guys? Gay guys. Well, maybe they're like hipsters. No, 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 They've got like those, geometric those shapes, those like triangles, and then it means something. It's kind of like the guys that do like what's that animal flow? Those the gay they got guys. man buns. <laughs> Man, buns Man bun like, guys would have these you know, geometric like, shapes I on their wrist. My, my fitness tights, but I don't wear shorts over them. You got a protractor. I just wear the tights. Oh, shit. Is that a protractor? Rostor is a Freemason. And I do. <laughs> Bikram. Yeah, yeah, he's a Freemason. So Rostar, um, while they were talking, he just pulled up his, he was flashing his calf to us, and on the side there is this shape. Do you mind if I... Go ahead. Yeah, what visual <laughs> wow, so here we have a, what would this be, Star Child? A that, protractor? That's the protractor of life. It kind of looks there. like the Illuminati. That's the architecture of the Freemason from the cornerstone. Because everything can be run by the protractor. Exactly. I thought that was just a tool we used in elementary school. I, I had no idea it had so much know, meaning. I asked him his questions. He never told me as much information. As well, as well, well it it's more to that, and I'm not going to say that's, it. I'll, I'll say is the reason you get a tattoo is so then girls come up to you and go, "What does that mean?" No, because like that's the, that's the only let one. me tell because you like, because the, like the soundtrack to that uh, show about the aliens, uh, the X Files. Mm-hmm. We start talking about that if that song was playing right now. That'd have been I mean, because most of my tattoos are like crosses, and then we got a rose in that. Yeah. So. So what does this tattoo mean? It's just I'm a Mason, and are you a member of the Masonic Lodge? Yeah, you are. Stone what Stone temple do you go to? I'm, I'm a part of Stone, Stone City Lodge from 54 Bloomington, Indiana, which I'm still a member of. And I'm also a founding member of Southern, Southern Star, number 50, which is your order of Eastern Star. This dude here. You know that we can't, we can't, we can't. Yeah. And then, and then, and then I'm also, uh, then I'm also a Royal Ark Master Mason. You're a Master Mason? Master Mason. What does that mean? Um, it just means that I've people I, don't wake up sometimes. It just it just means that I've uh, I've acquired so many levels, and I'm also a turtle. Then I'm what's also a turtle? A, I'm gonna have you on my podcast. I need a mason. Uh, as far as far as the turtle, a like, mason is I can't my, that's our that. brand. Oh yeah, but I can I can say uh, the acronym f- um, for the answer, but I can um, say what that is. What a turtle is. Yeah. You can't tell. Basically, I'd be the worst mason ever. I would tell every secret. Yeah, you, you couldn't, I guess that's why you wouldn't be a mason. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, that's why you're not. And then I'm in three fraternities. So in what? Three, three fraternities. Three fraternities. Why do you like three. clubs so organizations so much? Secret knowledge. society. Knowledge. knowledge. So uh, well, we're, clearly your knowledge has been fl- you've been flexing quick, your knowledge this whole podcast with all this but, Kwanzaa. But really, quick, though, really quick though, really quick though. No, I'm talking about though. Um, we're almost we're at the end of our podcast. Uh, go ahead and tell. Like a yeah, I've, I've been. I really don't think it should end until you explain a little bit more about your love for Masonic. We only get forty-five. Fine. Minutes on our thing. We can well, get... I'll have you on mine to talk about Masons. Okay, oh, uh, yeah. but go, but go ahead. Tell them where to find you, really quick. Um, you can find me on Instagram. Emily knows everything. Okay, yeah. Emily with an IE, and then my podcast is available, like I said, on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Stitcher. Emily knows everything. And also check her out on. I'm uh, also Twitch. on Twitch. Twitch TV backslash Emily knows everything. Do you want to say anybody like, where they find you? Really quick? Yeah, you could guys find me in a in a universe near you. <laughs> if you want to watch out, people. If you want if you want to find us, uh, uh, Burbank Misfits on Twitter, on um, Facebook, the Burbank Misfits on Instagram. Me at Raw Star on every outlet. Just the next, just the next Chris on Instagram. CC Fitness on Instagram. 
CC Twitter. T- CC Fitness uh, on Instagram, Twitter, um, on Facebook. Uh, go ahead and check his gym out. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Peace.